Hey, everybody, and welcome to The Experience. I'm Nora Yolis-Young, and today I'm going to be talking with you, so I'd love for you to just get comfy and join me for a little bit, and we're going to talk a little bit about hypnosis and hypnotherapy. And as you know, I'm a hypnotherapist and I love to help people shift out of their limiting belief systems and shift into their empowered kick butt masterpiece life that is waiting for them on the other side of their obstructive thinking. And so what I would love to share with you today is a little bit about what my experience as a hypnotherapist has enabled me to do. So. Hypnotherapy is an incredible tool, and we're in different states of consciousness all throughout the day. And so um, where our waking state is the beta state, and then from that point, we will fluidly shift in and out of the beta and the alpha state. And the alpha state is the state of trance that you experience when you're watching TV and you're driving your car and you forget... Where, that you've passed your um, typical landmarks and you get to your destination and you're like, oh, I'm here. And you've been thinking, thinking, thinking. That's a state of trance. Um, when you're waking up in the morning and you're snuggling with your babies, if you have them, and telling them that they're amazing, that's a state of trance that they are, just that waking up state is a great time to be telling them wonderful things about how amazing they are. So when we're, we're going through different states of um, consciousness throughout the day, the frequency of mind is constantly changing. And so when we get into a thought process and we're just like hammering away at something, trust that you're actually in a state of trance and you're programming your mind with this. So I want to help you shift out of that if I can. And I want to use experiences that I've had both being in trance myself and also um, taking clients into uh, hypnosis or a deeper state of trance um, to help you maybe more easily visualize how this kind of work could actually be beneficial for you or how you can also do it on your own. Um, Cause meditation is also a way of getting to that place in trance, but it does really help to have a person guide you through what you're experiencing. So, you know, when I was in training, I had an amazing opportunity. Now my father passed away. Um, he died of cancer in 2003. And that was, of course, a tragedy for the entire family. It's a profound experience for me. But, um, you know, I was in my, I was in my, I was late 20s, early 30s. And um, it was devastating. And when I went into training, I was a little bit older. And I went into a past life regression experience um, in front of the class that was part of the training and, and um, to have to watch somebody do this. And so I went into trance. And then after I went into a past life, I went into the spirit world, which is also part of the experience that um, hypnotherapists who do that kind of work like me do. And so we went into the spirit world and I was able to connect with my father. And what happened was he came into my body, his energy, his spirit energy actually came into my body and downloaded what his experience was. And it wasn't like, oh, like I know from his experience, he had basically this knowledge of I knew coming in that I was going to die at a young age. He says he took one for the team. And then he just downloaded all of this awareness of me. I don't know if it was remembering, but just this awareness that I too signed on for that experience and that he still was there and that he loved me and that he was going to help me in my um reaching my potential in life. And that was an incredibly powerful healing experience. And so hypnosis is, was, helped me with my grief. And that's one of the areas that I love helping clients with is helping them with their grief. And so, you know, hypnosis is a way of accessing what we already know deep within our inner being, but we just have forgotten or we're not accessing it in our day-to-day -day life. And so when I 
help people to strategize about how they want their life to become, utilizing their subconscious mind to have access and reach deeper into who they're meant to be um, is a wonderful way to do it. So when we strategize to move out of non-productive thought and into productive thought, that means creating a new through line for yourself to stop going through all of the feedback loops of, of negation and negative self-talk and um, shouldn'ts and, and you know all of the things that you carry on, you hold on to that might be preventing you from actualizing potential in your life. And so Another perspective that I've gained through my work as a hypnotherapist is understanding that humanity, all the people who occupy these physical bodies that we are, came here on purpose. Like we're not here by happenstance. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so what that means to me from my experience as a hypnotherapist is that we know what we're doing. We come here to be physical. When you're in the spirit realm, by virtue of being non-physical, you don't have a body. And so you're not grappling with the things that the human experience, the human body enables you to do. You can't eat those delicious gourmet foods and experience new flavors um, at restaurants or awesome food trucks. You can't make love. You can't work out. You can't um, set a, a physical goal and then achieve it. You don't utilize your senses because your energy in the non-physical realm. We have, you know, olfactory and, you know, visual and auditory and, and all of those things and that the physical experience enables us to have. In addition to that, there's also physical disabilities, mental disabilities, all of these things that a human body can experience. We as souls come in collectively agreeing to the parameters of this human experience. That means the physical body, that means the genetic components of the body you're occupying, that means gravity, that means you know all the things that you experience on the planet and that also means the law of attraction is something that we've agreed to operating in our experience. And so the way law of attraction works is your thoughts are transmitted out vibrationally because we're all vibration and the universe responds in kind. The universe matches that energy. And so what I want to show you is the thoughts that you think create your experience. And so if the thoughts that you're thinking make you, make you feel like crap, that's something to notice. That's something that can change. You can change that. And so your emotions are a super important component to your physical experience on earth. A lot of people don't want their emotions because if they feel crappy, they don't want to feel that. But I encourage you to consider that the emotions are actually there to show you something. They're showing you that you're off track. You are off track if you feel like crap. And what does that mean? That means that the inner wisdom within you, your inner being, your soul self, your broader perspective actually isn't in agreement with you. And that's why you feel like crap. So for example, um, say you're in high school and you see a girl that you wanna be snarky about or, or catty about. And you think, oh, she's a, you know what? You're going to feel like crap because your inner being is unconditionally loving and doesn't think that about the person. So this is a more complex thing, and maybe we'll get into it into another video um, about how to work with your emotions. But just trust and know that when you feel awesome, that you're on the right track. If you feel like crap, maybe you can stop and think, is there another more optimistic way of interpreting this 
Because when it gets right down to it, people, it's all about perspective. And yes, we can talk about all the reasons that perspectives um, that we're seeing and experiencing in our reality right now are what's present and so they're real and that's reality. I would encourage you to think broader. Think more broadly about what the potential is. Do you have to be shown or given how to interpret your reality? Look around. Are your interpretations of your reality your own or are they someone else's? Have you been given or force fed them? Not to blame anybody, but have they been given to you or have you reached those conclusions on your own inner discernment based on your own inner sense of what resonates with you? Because when you start to give yourself permission to interpret things the way that you want to interpret them, you start to notice your reality shifting. You also get a sense of empowerment. So one of the things that I notice when people start to notice that the narratives and the storylines that they've told are actually not authentically their own. And when that happens, that can be a little overwhelming. So if that is where you're at, I encourage you to reach out. Reach out to a hypnotherapist, a therapist. Um, reach out to me. Call me. Check out my website. Um, write a question in the comment box. But I encourage you to reach out. And there are so many. This is just one little area that I'm talking about. And this is sort of the beginning road of starting to shift into the empowerment that is waiting for you in your life. Like, Grab your life and take hold of it and just and live it. Because let's just assume that we all agree that we are human beings and we're spirit beings having a human experience. And if that is the case, if you truly are a spirit being having a human experience, knowing that you came here to the planet to have an amazing experience, wouldn't you agree that it makes most sense to actualize, to go all the way? It also means that there is no such thing as death. So whatever happens, you're not, it's, you're limitless. You're, you're, um, you're infinite. You can do this over and over again. So fear, you get more perspective on fear that way. And you start to feel like against any odds, you can actually change the direction of your life. And that's what I want to help you start to have hope about. Because when you pay attention to the opinions and the points of view of other people that are negative, you start to feel hopeless. But if you take the time to start tuning into the things that feel really good to you, it could be as simple as petting your dog. It could be as simple as looking at the beautiful sunset. When you just, when you encapsulate one after the other and take one step in front of the other of things that feel good and right, you become more empowered and the actions that you're inspired to make create a different reality for you. And that is what I want for you. That is what my hope is for you because I love humanity. I love you and I want to do everything in my power to help people to actualize their potential because think about it if the whole world knew how amazing each and every individual was and had the power to create the life of their dreams just think what would happen amazing things would happen and you are no different my friend you have the ability to just completely blow your own mind like could you believe that i did that I want you to feel that way about your life. I want you to look forward to your life. So if you have any comments or you have any questions, I really want to hear them. Don't be afraid. You can also um, find me on Facebook and you can private message me or you can send me an email if you have something that's more personal. But I want to get you guys in the mix. I want to hear what your hopes and dreams are. And if there's a way that I can help you, it would be my honor. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and share with whoever you feel like might benefit from this work. All right. Mwah.